89.7 FM and hits 103.9 FM in Accra. In Kumasi, we are on love 99.5 FM and over 30 affiliates across Ghana's system regions, including ATL FM Cape Coast, Might FM Tamale, Bewa Radio Yendi, and in Kingi FM Bali. Get radio, TV, and online content on the MyJoyOnline.com interactive app for Android and iOS devices. Coming up, Nine persons battling for their lives following clash between police and residents of Lagri in the northeast region. Details as the incident was triggered by disagreement between residents and the police over the arrest of a suspected motorbike thief. You are talking about ten, but what came to my notice is nine. And uh, the nine, since are currently in Walwali Municipal Hospital, and then the other two were sent to the east region, that is Sandama and Navarro. For MP for Akan Yao Gomado accuses national security of being involved in a cover up after he was accused of putting out deliberate falsehood about disturbances in the constituency triggered by the death of two footballers who were knocked down by a national security vehicle. The national security, uh, they are just trying to cover up. They should bury their, their, their heads in shame for what they are trying to publish. And later in the bulletin, get ready for a thrill of a lifetime as the Joy FM's 90s jam makes a comeback in the first week of January 2024. These and more here with me, Maxwell Agbabath. This is Joy News, independent, fearless and credible. Let's settle for the details now. Nine persons are battling for their lives at three different hospitals following a clash between police and residents of Luagri in the northeast region. The incident is reported to have been triggered by a disagreement between residents and the police over the arrest of a suspected motorbike thief. District Chief Executive for the Mampurugu Muadri District, Abu Adam, told Joy News the suspects are currently in police custody as investigations continue. You are talking about 10, but what came to my notice is 9. And uh, the 9, since are currently in Walwadi Municipal Hospital, and then the other two were sent to the East Region, that is Sandama and Navarro, for treatment. This morning, I went to Walwadi Municipal Hospital to check on those who, are, who were admitted there, to check on their condition and how they are responding to treatment. When I went there, I checked and then actually they are a positive response, but uh, three of them have been referred, one referred to Tamale uh, Tito Hospital and the other two have fractured on their knees, has also been transferred, referred to Balika. So as for now, the police are still investigating to find out the cause of the incident. Your district chief executive for the Mamprugu Mwaduri district, Abu Adam. Member of Parliament for the Khan constituency, Yao Gomadu, says the national security is involved in a cover up. The Ministry of National Security is denying it personnel deliberately targeted and killed two residents of KGB in the Uti region. The incident sparked disturbances with the national security accusing the MP of making false claims about the incident. But the MP is fighting back. The national security. Uh, they are just trying to cover up. They should bury their, their, their heads in shame for what they are trying to publish. Uh, so I don't know if you have read my press release. And I have not said anything different from that. When I did that, I expected the national security to appreciate it, that. I call on the bereaved to remain calm and assure them that we investigate this issue with the help of the government. You had member of parliament for the Khan constituency, Yao Gumadu. Meanwhile, DC for KGB, Wilson Agbanyo, says he will not resign despite calls from some residents for him to do so. The residents accuse him of bringing the national security personnel to the town to terrorize them, an allegation he has denied. I'm very safe. I did not deploy the, the national security into the constituency. The youth in your area, they want you to tender in your resignation. Would you do that? 
<laughs> Why would I do that? Because this is just an incident, unfortunate incident. So for me being responsive, I went yesterday to commiserate with the families after speaking with the chief of the town. Your DC for KGB, Wilson Agbanyo. Former First Lady Lodina Mahama is calling for a speedy presidential assent of the anti-witchcraft bill that seeks to proscribe witchcraft accusations and criminalize the practice of declaring, accusing, naming or labeling people as witches. The anti-witchcraft bill sponsored by Medina MP Francis Xavier Sosu and passed by Parliament has not been signed into law after President Tikufod raised constitutional issues. Mrs. Mahama spoke after donating food staff to the inmates of the Gambaga witch camp in the northeast region. Correspondent Ilya Sutanko has more in the following report. The former first lady was accompanied by staff of the Lodina Mahama Foundation and some regional executives of the National Democratic Congress Party. The items presented included many bags of rice, cooking oil, beverages, bottled water, toiletries and wax prints. Mrs. Lodina Mahama emphasized the long-standing positive relationship between her Lodina Mahama Foundation and the camp, adding that the donation was in line with the motto of the foundation. For many years, I have adopted your community as one of the beneficiaries of activities under the Lodina Foundation. Even when I cannot be here in person, I have always made sure that twice a year you have received your year of whatever letter you have. The Lodina Mahama Foundation started the construction of a skill training center to provide skills training to the alleged witches and their dependents. The project, however, has been abandoned after the change of government. You heard Ilya Sutanko's report. Now, after a two-year break, Joy FM's 90s jam makes a comeback next month, January. Lovers of music made in the 90s should get ready for a thrill of a lifetime from Ghana's burger high life to hip life sandwich with hip hop, pop, and funk revelers who have a good time. Here are some songs you'll be hearing. Well, Joy FM's DJ Black has been providing details of the event. So it's happening at the Craigalee. Everything is behind or beside the Aquarium Wall on the 6th of January. I think that will bring nostalgia to those who enjoyed the, the nightlife in Accra then. The Glens Nightclub, the Fox Trap, the, 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 the Matador era, and the DJ life where you also saw the presence of a lot of DJ competitions, the likes of Aziki Zak, Kofi Dixon, Fifi Kraft, you know. So it's going to be a night where people are really going to, you know, reminisce on good songs and how they uh, enjoy themselves uh, when they were young. So it's a night that I encourage everybody who enjoyed the 90s to come and join us at the Cradle area on the 6th of January. You had DJ Black. Now, if Fua Santua's dream of breaking the Guinness World Record for the longest singing time by an individual is gradually becoming a reality, the current record holder, Sunil Wagmer, officially sang for one and five hours, which is equivalent to uh, approximately four days and nine hours. If Fua is hoping to break this record and extend it, currently, she has been singing for 100 hours. Here's a wrap of her journey. On the stroke of midnight on the 24th of December 2023, a first and tour, an event organizer and journalist, started an ambitious aim to become the world record holder for long guessing in marathon by an individual. The current record is held by an Indian singer, Sunil Wagmer, who officially sang for 105 hours. To overtake him, she has to sing for more than four days and nine hours.
For her attempt to be recognized, she is required to sing continuously, allowing brief pauses of no more than 30 seconds between songs, each lasting at least two minutes. Additionally, no piece of music may be repeated within a four-hour performance, with songs only allowed to be repeated after this duration. You heard Jacqueline and Suma Yibua's report. We wish you for a while. And that's how we end the news at 6. My name is Maxwell Agbaba. Joy 99.7 FM.